In this quick tutorial, we're going to see how to move a character really simply using some very simple blocks. If you're watching this video, I'm going to assume you know how to open up Stencil, set up your workspace folder, create a level, and also import your characters from an outside program like Piscal App into Stencil with animations. You can see that I've got my level one open up here, and I've also downloaded a tile set from Stencil Forge. I've put a floor in just to make life a little bit simpler. I'm going to go over to my actors, click on my character Nubby, and I'm going to put him in about there. Now, before we do any kind of movement on a player that we've imported into Stencil, let's make sure that gravity and everything is the way it should be. I'm going to click on the physics tab, and I'm going to put gravity at 85 down, which is what Stencil says real gravity should look like. I'm going to go back to my scene and you can see my character is there. I'm going to just put him up here for a second. We're going to very quickly test this game and see if everything's working so far. And here we are. So our player fell from the sky and landed on the floor and you can see the animation is still running. I'm not so worried about the animation working or not. We can deal with that in another video. So now that we know that gravity is working and also the tiles are working, let's get going with some movement on this character. So what we're going to do is go to our nubby character like this, go to the events, and what we're going to do straight away is set up an attribute because we want to know how fast our character is going. Let's create an attribute called velocity, so V-E-L, and let's make that a number. Now our velocity attribute is always going to remember how fast our nubby character is walking. We're going to set up a basics when creating, that means when the game starts, I want to set the velocity to zero because I don't want my character moving. So that is a set attribute block there. I'm going to go back to basics and click on when updating. And just to remind you, when we put a when updating code in, that's the code that Stencil has to check over and over and over again. So we want to put all of our controls in here. So how do we want our character to move? Well, it's quite simple. We go over to the Actors button, click on the Motion tab, and we're going to set the X speed of our character, that's the left and the right speed, to whatever the velocity is. At this moment, we've set the velocity to zero. So when this game starts, we set the velocity to zero, and our character will be standing still. When we click on our left and our right button, we would like our character to move left and right. So we are going to put in two if blocks. We're going to go over to user input and put in two control blocks like this. We are going to set control one to right and we're going to set control two to left like this. We are now going to tell the actor what to do when you press right or left. In this case, we are going to go back to our attributes to the setters and we're going to say what Whatever velocity is when you press right or left, we want to change that number. Currently it's zero. So what we're going to do is we need a plus and we need a minus block over there. Let's go back to attributes, to getters, and we're going to set our velocities to slightly different values depending on which button you're pressing. So if we press the right button, we want to add one to our velocity. And if the left is pressed, we want to minus one from the velocity. Let's just test that game and see if it works. And here we go. So we'll press left and right. And you can see that the movement's really good, except we've got a problem because if I press right, it will move to the right, but it won't stop when I let go of my mouse. And the same with the left. So what we now need to do is put in a way for our character to slow down or to stop if we don't press the keyboard. So what we'll do is we'll add our last bit of code to our movement blocks, which is very simply going to be back to the attributes and setting. We'll set the velocity to velocity times 0 0.9. And let's do 8 here. And this bit of code I love because all we're saying is it doesn't matter what the velocity is, whether it's 10, 100, 1,000, we want velocity to be less than one. So whenever we multiply something by less than one, we make it go back to zero. Let's just test this code out. 
And here we go. Let's have a look. And that works really well. So I'm pressing left now and letting go. And you can see our character slows down. And it works really well. And the trick here is to make sure this number is correct. So if you want it to stop faster, you make the number lower, like 0 0.9 or 0 0.85. And if you want your character to really move until he stops, kind of like skidding on ice, you can make the number much closer to 1, so 0 0.98 or 0 0.999, which will be almost like the character won't slow down. So experiment with those numbers until the character slows down exactly how you want them to. And that's a really quick tutorial on how to do movement.